Well, hello folks, so in this video I'm gonna tell you how to create a VHS calculator in Photoshop. So without any further ado, let's just jump into it. Okay, so before I start editing, the phone that I used is VCR USD Miner. You can search it in thephone.com or just click the link in the description below. So now you need to type the time and date in the bottom left corner. So I will type PM340. And then type the date April 5. 2019. So now you can transform it uh, wherever you would like by just highlight both of the tags and Ctrl T. You can just transform it wherever you like and present it. Now click on your photo on your photo and duplicate it by pressing ctrl T in case you need to see the original photos I'll click on the duplicate layer to work with the editing now go to filter noise add noise this will add a little bit of noise to your photo so change the amount to around 6 and and change the distribution to uniform and change the monochromatic and press ok now go to the market tools menu right here and then choose a single row market tool and now you want to select a single row of pixels i'm gonna click it right here and then press ctrl t to transform it and hold shift and drag it up a little bit something like this and press enter and now go to filter distort share so this will make a glitchy look on your photo you just need to play around with it and don't forget to change it to repeat edge pixels and I'm just gonna change it a little bit like this it's like this and I think this will be okay and then press ok and now you want to share it twice or more I go to filter and share or you can just alt ctrl f i'm gonna do it a couple more times okay i think it's okay now so after that we want to deselect it by pressing ctrl d or right click and deselect done now you need to add more distortion pixels in the bottom just do the exact same thing so go to single row market tool and go around here ctrl t drag it up a little bit press enter and go to filter or you can just ctrl alt f so it will automatically share it and then deselect it do another make another in here ctrl t drag it up i think like this enter and ctrl alt f a couple more times and ctrl d to deselect so the next thing i want to do is grab the rectangular market tool this one to reduce the look of the edges here just 
select the edges press ctrl shift f so i will just select the edges here and then press ctrl alt f a couple of times deselect it i want to do it here too ctrl alt f a couple of times and ctrl d another more in here Here, control alt F a couple of times. Deselect it to and control D. So it will reduce the edges. Now, after we done with the distortion, we want to adjust the hue and saturation a little bit. Now click on the most top layer i'm gonna click in here and go to adjustment layer icon and choose hue saturation now for the hue you want to change it to around 10 or minus 10 i'm gonna use minus 10 right here and the saturation change it to around negative 30 here. Then we need to apply all the edit to one layer by pressing Ctrl Shift Alt E. I'm gonna press Ctrl Shift Alt E. So it will create a new layer that contains all the edit in one layer. Now go to the channels menu and select the red color channel. We want to create a sphere in here, so go to filter, go to filter, go to filter, distort, sphere. But we don't want to play it too much with really. it. Let's just change it one or two pixels around. So I'm gonna drag it here, gonna drag it here. So just gonna change it one or two pixels around like this maybe um, something like this is okay then press okay so this will make the color splitting from each other so if i click on the rgb layer it will be like this now make sure we are working with the rgb mode again and head back to the layers then grab your single row market tool again and make sure you're working with the add to selection and add some random selection like here just a random selection now grab your rectangular market tool make sure you're working on subtract from selection and just cut through some of the edges I'm gonna cut through some here I'm gonna cut through some in here I'm gonna cut through some in here then now you want to do the filter stylize wind choose the blast method and from the right direction press ok and now you want to do it a couple of more times by pressing ctrl alt f a couple more times and now you can deselect it and what you've got is this scratch right here if you look it carefully you got that scratch so for the final touch is you need to make a share to the date and time by grabbing the rectangular marker tool and select just the date and the time then go to filter distort share and i'm just gonna play with it a couple more times I think just like this and press OK. So this will make the date 
it will show the date and the time then you can just deselect and we're gone this is actually how you create a VHS camcorder effect so make it as creative as you can I hope this video helps you thank you guys for watching see you in the next video and as always stay creative